सो प्रणाम नमस्कार नमस्ते हेलो हाय एवरीथिंग इज डन सो द प्रीवियस वीडियो वॉज अ ब्लॉग एंड या चश्मा नहीं था सो आई वॉज लुकिंग डम आई सॉ दैट बिकॉज माई फेस वॉज लुकिंग ऑल ब्लोटेड आई कॉन्ट हेल्प इट यार मतलब एंगल का प्रॉब्लम था थोड़ा सो I decided चश्मा पहन लो यार चश्मे छो तो चश्मा पहन लो बाई दई आई फॉर्म माई लेंसेज माई गॉड आई वॉज डूइंग डीप क्लीनिंग जस्ट बिफोर द डे ऑफ शूट एंड आई फॉर्म माई लेंसेज आई एम सो हैप्पी अब यू टू वेयर दैन आई डोंट नो वैन बट होपली सोन बिकॉज यू नो लेंस पहनने के बाद रोना धोना भूल जाओ वरना गिर जाएंगे बस so this video will be the experience of going through z bangla's didi number 1 okay for others it might be normal like a very exciting experience a very unique experience but for me it was kind of you know i went there mainly to spread over in this regarding my condition and regarding people like my biological mother who commit crimes and the children unknowingly become victims so i wanted to spread awareness regarding that and that's all i went there for or else i wouldn't have risked getting an attack oh my god no 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 i'm not risking an attack just to win some gifts or answer a few questions or appear on tv not interested dude but if it's a concern for the public yes i will so i went and i was basically first i was contacted by a person i want to name him now he's like a big brother <laughs> he's a great guy uh unless he would have noticed me seen me i wouldn't have appeared in dd number 1 So thank you so much. You know who I'm talking about. It's you. <laughs> so he called me up. I tried to brief him about my life, but it was difficult. You know, flashbacks come. Side effect of CPTSD. <laughs> so those flashbacks, and so I handed the phone over to my father to. complete the rest of my story because it was difficult for me alone to you know describe everything what happened exactly everything in details it was practically impossible so i handed it to my father and my they did both agreed on something like do uh, daddy daughter duo and so there we were uh he told me a date and time and told me that we were going to appear on dd number 1 with the show called daddy daughter duo and there we were site was close to our home thankfully and we were there we were told to bring few sarees kurtis for baba it was sherwani or kurta and nehru jackets and what not So basically, bring some fancy wear, <laughs> jewelry, if possible, your makeup kit, because of the COVID thing. You know, you don't want to use too many things that are used by everyone. But well, as you can see, I am one of a jungle. I don't do makeup. Like foundation, nahi hai, kuch bhi nahi hai. I don't even do my eyebrows. The actually, the makeup person told me this. So my eyebrow got out. अमी कॉर आई आई एम सफरिंग फ्रॉम अ डैम डिसऑर्डर डूड आई डोंट हैव टाइम फॉर आई ब्राउज एंड स्टफ एनी वे आई गोट गुड लुकिंग आई ब्राउज वाई शुड आई गो इवन आई एम स्केर ऑफ ब्यूटी पार्लर आई एम बींग कम्प्लीटली ऑनेस्ट आई नेवर बीन टू अ ब्यूटी पार्लर एंड आई एम शेट स्केयर ऑफ गोइंग टू वन बिकॉज काइंड ऑफ बिकॉज ऑफ माई मॉम आई एम अ बिट अफ्रेड ऑफ वेमेन येट देर आई वॉज इन अ वुमेन्स शो I was feeling like, what are you playing at, God? What are you doing with me? Women's show, and I'm afraid of women. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, that was so funny. 
but as long as you know awareness goes i can stretch it up to whatever limit i can so i went we sat there for some time and then we went up we went upstairs and there we sat once again for quite some time and i went there wearing this big heels and i'm not used to wearing too big heels like i don't wear heels i normally wear sandals or you know what we call in hindi chappal chappal ya choti in bengali sandals flip flops slippers i normally wear those when i go outside heels are like last priority for me but i had this much knowledge that if you are not too tall like i'm 5 feet 5 so you should wear heels when you're wearing a sari and i somehow knew that they aren't going to let me wear my kurti and they are going to make me wear a sari so i wore heels and went there and one more shock that i got that day the just the the day before packing up you know for the show I thought I, my blouses fit me and when I tried on every blouse none of them fit me then I realized that oh my god I've gained fat in my arms and I'm saying it here on public I have no problem because I know that later I did a research online and found out that these psychiatric drugs have a tendency of weight gain and it happens to everyone so i realized okay i have to use the oldies you know what the cotton spandex elastic you know those blouse pieces that are free one size free size and one size fits all it's like that and so my beautiful decorated blouses they went for a toast they stayed in my almira i got the shock of my life because i was doing a lot amidst all this to try and stay in shape yeah i am in shape but you know when you work so hard to maintain your weight for 3 years and all of a sudden one disorder just topples the weighing scale to i won't say how much but it's kind of very shocking so when they waited 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 they first did my makeup and i was a bit you know skeptical because normally you are told to wear your clothes first then your makeup because your makeup is going to get all smashed and what is it called i forgot the term it's going to get all you know whatever <laughs> बेसिकली गंदगी हो जाएगी यार मतलब कपड़ों पे लग जाएगा एंड इन दीडियो सो आई गॉटिकल दैट वॉट इज हैपनिंग वाई आर दे पुटिंग मेकअप फर्स्ट एंड इट वॉज लाइक हेल्प आई एम नेवर गेटिंग माई मेकअप डन बाई अदर्स seriously i'll always do my makeup on my unless i trust the person who is doing it completely and that person was constantly just spraying and dabbing stuff on my face i know what a primer is i know what a concealer is i know what a foundation is and i know how to use them because i have used them i've been to parties and i'm not like a complete sociopath who has never been in social uh, arrangements and who has never been outside i'm not like that i've been outside so i know how to dress up i can click good pictures of myself i know how to do makeup on my own but this person had this huge row of types of compact and i was like you know person has only one skin shade not so many but he was using a uh, what should i say a wet cotton pad sort of a thing and then just was rubbing it rubbing it rubbing it and then smudging it on my face like this like i'm getting punched on my face or something and like, after some time i realized that punching is over i am no longer a punching bag and i can be put out so after that he was like opera ta
when I did that, he was putting the eye, whatever. What was he putting? I don't even know because he's like one moment I am seeing he is putting something blackish, and then next moment he is putting powder on it, and again he is putting blackish. Like, why are you making your work so difficult, man? Just put a kajal and just put some, you know, highlighting over here. And, you know, the normal makeup stuff. I'm, I'm wearing specs over here, so I can't really demonstrate what I'm trying to say. But, you know, highlighting at the ends, at these parts, and dark over here. I mean, the basic way of using a highlighter and those shadow kits. And contouring is easy if you know how to do it. But this guy used red uh, or rose red, I guess. Rose red blush. Huge amounts here. And after using, the hairdresser person came from behind and said, Oh, my God. They're calling me sweet and they're saying that I'm looking sweeter than usual. And I'm like, no, I want to look like a grown up. And here they are saying, I look sweeter. <laughs> oh, not fair. <laughs> so, done. <laughs> I was, all right, makeup done. I couldn't see myself, but when I wore my specs, I was in shock because I was looking like a ghost. My face was white and my eyes were black. And it was like, all blood was supposed to be drained out from me and I was walking like a zombie. Ooh, I'm going to eat your blood. No, drink. Sorry. I'm going to drink your blood and, you know, I'm going to eat your heart. I'm going to eat your brains. Brains. So, I felt like I'm a zombie or a vampire queen. I love vampires and werewolves. Somehow, I like these paranormal creature things, you know. I wish they would come to life. Seriously, because you know, the one thing I love about these things is that they never lie. They don't backstab, they don't lie. They're like, yeah, I eat brains, you know, that's my diet. <laughs> so you know that that's evil and you you know what you're up for. <laughs> but humans, oh my God, they want to stab you and they'll say, come, let's do a hug and then stab you from the back. Wow, that's humans. So let's go to makeup to dress up. So next thing I know, I went back to the room where my sari was kept, my blouse was kept, everything was kept. There was a black parda sort of a thing, flowy. <laughs> but no, it, it felt very safe and secure, not only because it was black, but also because my father was outside. And I trust my father completely. So I knew that nothing is going to go wrong as long as my father is there. I have trust issues as CPTSD patients have. So I was happy that my father was there. And yeah. <laughs> Wore it. And they opened it off. I was like, come on. I'm wearing a blouse and a sari wear, you know. We call it Shaya in Bengali. I don't know. Petticoat, petticoat, petticoat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah. So I was like, and I was used to, you know, men looking at me with only a blouse and petticoat on me. So when that guy just ripped off my sari from me, I felt like drop of the ah, sari utar liya yaar, kya hoga? And like my breasts are looking like this, everything is like curvy and all. Yeah, I look good. All right, take it or leave it. I look good. So I was like, what's going on? I'm feeling weird. <laughs> Why did that person just take it off? He could have at least closed his eyes or something. I don't know. You know, that, that's a free size blouse. I was feeling so awkward. But my father was changing in that room. I was like, why? <laughs> he started like pulling on the sari and tightening it up. And he did a good job in making me wear. I'll admit, I couldn't have done that on my own, obviously. So, good job! Then, after.
after wearing the sari when I looked into the mirror my hair was open like this yeah something like that and the first word that came into my mind is Durga I'm like I was looking like a goddess in there I was like oh my god I never thought I'd look so good but when it came time came to hairdressing they messed it all up made me look like a non-TA who is 18 years old and 18 year old auntie yeah you know what first the person just okay I need I need I need I need a brush yeah comb comb will do okay so I'm gonna show you what they exactly did all right they first did this 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 and then they told me just untangle your hair okay <laughs> i did it pretty easily because my hair is quite straight it doesn't take much to untangle it so i untangled it within a few minutes two minutes and then she came okay pulled on my hair down and then made a pony sort of a thing at the back and then she started doing this and this and this something okay so basically what she did was you know make this and this and this making sure it was visible and then puffed it up and did something like that from this side to this side and then she showed the person who was elder to her like a senior sort of a thing and told her that like you know how is it looking and she said but no that person also got a side parting and before i know she had already used hairspray yes so that hairsprayed hair which was already back brushed was ripped open like this <clears throat> like ripping open bricks from cement like that she did that and then the next thing I know she is doing the same thing over again from this side this side this side and there we go I can see all the web in my hair and I was thinking okay a lot of work when I get back home first thing I'm doing apply shampoo on my head because I had no idea how to remove hairspray and I was so so oh my god who is going so I was so upset and I was so tired that I just like drop all internet shit and just apply shampoo keep it there have dinner have to work and just you know wash it off and do shampoo once again later when you're taking a bath at the night